Hello and welcome to Dead Letter Movie Chat, episode 19! 19! Woo! Recorded March 29th, 2015. I'm Tim. I'm Andrew. And we're going to be talking tonight about the Divergent series Insurgent, this being the second film in the series uh, based on the novel, starring Shailene Woodley, Theo James, Miles Teller, uh, Kate Winslet, and Naomi Watts. Um, brief appearance by Octavia Spencer. Who will supposedly play a larger role in the next film. I'm, uh, I'm curious to see that. According to my wife who read the books. Um, <laughs> and neither of us have. Yeah. Um, so so uh, this, this, of course, continues uh, the, the story from the previous film, Divergent. Uh, picks up really pretty much where that one left off. Uh, just everything that was really left dangling after that one picks up here. We've we've got the characters of Triss and Four and um, Miles Teller as a sort of antagonistic person. Yeah, who's I, I don't remember the character name and I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> but no, he, he 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 was interesting to watch on screen. But they're they're on the run. They're in hiding from evil villainous Kate Winslet, who's out to find them and crush them and destroy them and consolidate ultimate power for herself. Still, yes, still. Um, so the uh, so clearly this is one of those dystopia movies. Um, following up from you know the last movie, um, the um, this is still one of those movies where teenagers save the world, um, which is fine. It's I love how this has become its own little subgenre, and um, it's uh, unlike. Um, I feel like. Although, like, The Hunger Games is very much kind of an action-adventure movie. This one feels more so um, than The Hunger Games does for some reason. I can't exactly tell you why. Um, and it could just be because there is just... There is a range of people that are literally just supposed to... Like, there is a whole faction of people solely to kick ass. Um, yeah, it's, it's, and, it's kind of their thing. It's what they do. And that's and that might be why I feel like it has more of an action adventure feel of it than than Hunger Games does. Not that there's not some kind of political, um, social commentary going on as well. In there this. is. I don't feel like it necessarily goes as deep or or is as cutting as even the the commentary in the Hunger Games, which is mm -hmm. is yeah to a degree it's its own construct. Mm -hmm. um, that said, I, mean, I I liked the movie. Uh, I, I enjoyed watching the, the characters. There were some really good performances. Miles Teller, as I mentioned, was a lot of fun to watch. I, I really got to just really get angry at his character. Yeah, a he's, lot of uh, he's really good. Um, yeah, it's, he he's very convincing. He feels like he's the one that's had the most growth um, between the movies. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. And, and that's partly because his character was just sort of I don't know, was sort of there in the last movie. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, if he was there, but not, I feel like he's... Not, uh, not to this degree. Not to this degree. Um, I feel like her, like that Shalene has, um, she's actually a very good actress, but I don't, I haven't, I don't see, I don't see like as much range, uh, well, not range, um, I don't see as much growth as an actor in her than I do Miles. Um, that's, that's, that's true, but... I, I will say that I really liked her performance in the first one. I, I and, thought yeah. she, was, she was really yeah. good in that. So I don't. I, I think she would have to be really, truly spectacular for us to notice that kind of growth in her. I think she was already yeah. very, very good, and mm -hmm. I, I think she repeats that here. A lot of the the movie is about the character growing and and facing her own inner demons, and she she did a good job in that. I I bought it when when they they got to some of those scenes. Um, and there, there was a lot of, you know, ridiculous CG kind of stuff, which was still fun to watch. It's still, yeah, it was still fun to watch. Um, there were, there were moments, there's, uh, one particular moment in the film where I feel like she had, um, what I could only call Bruce Willis face. Um, and the, my wife and I couldn't help but just laugh at it. Um, in what was probably supposed to be a more serious moment, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, okay. it was just so funny. Um, and I don't even know who to blame on that one. I don't know if it was Shalene or some guy with a computer not doing his job. Um, I don't like, uh, but 
anyway, so like that aside, it still is a pretty enjoyable movie. Um, if any, that actually may have made the movie just slightly more enjoyable. I don't think of it as dumb action movies. Um, it doesn't feel like a dumb action movie. It's um, it's, uh, it's you're really into it. You care about the characters. You want to see what happens next. Um, I'm told, um, like like I said, from my wife who read the books, that this is not as faithful an, an adaptation as the first one. Um, and some of that may have been just to make a better movie. Um, we also wondered if we weren't sure if they were going to be able to make a third movie. Um, if they like, if the last one was just kind of on the bubble of being able to make a sequel. Um, and so, uh, if this ends up being the last one, I wouldn't be like, I won't feel, you won't feel like annoyed, but you will still want to know what happens next. Yeah. I, I, um, if, if there isn't another one, I'll feel curious, maybe even curious enough to actually go and read the books. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that said, while I did like the movie and I, I was invested in the characters, which I, I'm on record. I, I feel that's, that's one of the big important things. It, it makes it, it almost depends. any movie better if it's got that going on. Um, I also kind of felt like this movie required a little too much prior knowledge of, of its predecessor uh, in in order to to really get a sense of of what's going on and what it means, I didn't feel like it stood on its own quite as well. No, I, uh, agree. I, I compared this earlier to uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets after Harry Potter and the Sorcerer slash Philosopher's Stone, right? Where the first one was really really good and and fresh and creative, this one didn't feel like it was less so but didn't do very much to distinguish itself from the first one as its own narrative. I agree. Um, I feel like um, Catching Fire did a good job of being its own movie. Yeah, um, I, I have to agree with that. Yeah, um, I feel bad comparing them so much, but they're that's the closest thing I can it's, compare it to. It's going to happen. It's just going to happen. Um, the um, so, uh, so, yeah, I think it does have the... The sophomore slump problem. Um, yeah, we have bit. a. This is a different director, which is often a good idea, but perhaps if they had, because I yeah, I feel like part of the problem with with Harry Potter two is that it's Chris Columbus again, and that's so it doesn't feel like there's much difference as compared to say Azkaban. This is, however, a different director this time, and I do wonder if it would have if it would have been different if they had kept the same director. But it, I don't know. It's probably six of one, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. All that said, I enjoyed the movie. If you are into this kind of thing, I think you should go see it. Um, you should definitely go see it in the theater as well. Um, yeah, the the big screen definitely helps this one. It's it's not make or break, but it'll it it will enhance the enjoyment of the movie. In this case, this this is definitely one of those. Indeed, and uh, yeah. So I guess for the most part, I'm going to give the film a pretty solid B. Um, I want to know what happens next. I will go see the next thing. Uh, the next installment, and I'm really hoping they just decide to do one movie instead of two movies because that's getting old. Um, yeah, but, yeah, I'm, but I don't. Know. I'm I'm right there with yeah. you. I was I was leaning a little bit toward toward B minus just because you know the the sophomore slump thing. Yeah, but I, I, this it's it's good enough. I'll I'll give it a, a straight solid B. I'll mm -hmm. go see the next one. Yeah. So 